step into the gripping world of Anatomy of a Murder, a 1959 cinematic masterpiece that transcends its time. As we delve into the intricacies of this courtroom drama, one cannot help but wonder, are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this film that fascinate you? Is there a particular scene or moment that has left an indelible mark on your cinematic memory? Before we explore these questions, let's set the stage. Directed by Otto Preminger, Anatomy of a Murder is a riveting exploration of the American legal system, revolving around the trial of a man accused of murder. The film's narrative complexity is heightened by its stellar cast, including James Stewart, Lee Remick, and George C. Scott. Now, let's uncover some lesser-known tidbits about this classic. Did you know that the film's jazz-infused score, composed by Duke Ellington, adds a unique and atmospheric layer to the courtroom tension? Ellington's musical prowess not only complements the narrative, but also stands as a testament to the film's commitment to artistic excellence. As we unravel the layers of anatomy of a murder, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem. What scene resonated with you, and why? Your stories and memories are invaluable, and we would love to hear them in the comments below. So, fellow cinephiles, let's embark on this journey together, celebrating the nuances and brilliance of Anatomy of a Murder. Your thoughts await. Anatomy of a Murder, directed by Otto Preminger in 1959, is a gripping courtroom drama that explores the complexities of justice, morality, and the human psyche. Adapted from the novel by Robert Traver, the film follows Paul Beegler, a small-town lawyer played by James Stewart, as he defends an army lieutenant, Frederick Mannion, accused of murdering a bar owner who allegedly assaulted his wife. What sets anatomy of a murder apart is its meticulous examination of the legal process, with Beegler employing shrewd courtroom tactics to unravel the truth. The film's ensemble cast, including George C. Scott and Lee Remick, delivers stellar performances that add depth to the narrative. Known for its frank and explicit discussions of sex and assault, the movie pushed the boundaries of censorship at the time. Anatomy of a Murder's impact extends beyond its initial release, influencing subsequent legal dramas and solidifying its place as a classic in the annals of cinema. Its exploration of moral ambiguity and the shades of truth remains a timeless and thought-provoking aspect of the film, ensuring its enduring relevance in popular culture, a testament to the film's enduring legacy. The 1949 Pontiac Silver Streak convertible driven by James Stewart in Anatomy of a Murder reflects the film's attention to detail. Beyond its cinematic significance, this vehicle became an iconic element, subtly contributing to the movie's atmosphere. Joseph Welch's unconventional approach to his role adds another layer to the production. Rather than memorizing lines, Welch opted to read them off two teleprompters. This decision, unusual for the time, showcases the adaptability and innovation employed during the making of the film. Remarkably, Anatomy of a Murder's swift post-production is noteworthy. Cut, scored, and in previews within a month of wrapping filming, the efficiency underscores the filmmaker's dedication and proficiency. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the making of Anatomy of a Murder shed light on the meticulous craftsmanship that went into this classic piece of cinema, enhancing our appreciation for its enduring legacy. In Anatomy of a Murder, the character Frederick Mannion holds a distinguished position as an officer in the air defense artillery. His military background plays a crucial role in shaping the narrative, adding layers to the courtroom drama. Mannion's dress uniform, adorned with the silver star, the bronze star, and the purple heart, underscores his decorated military service. This aspect not only serves as a character detail, but also contributes to the complexity of the legal proceedings. Adding to the film's richness is the musical composition by Duke Ellington, who not only composed the music for Anatomy of a Murder, but also made a cameo appearance as Pi Eye. Ellington's involvement brings a unique and notable dimension to the movie, infusing it with his musical prowess and making his brief on-screen presence a noteworthy element. These details, from Mannion's military accolades to Duke Ellington's musical contribution, highlight the meticulous choices made in the production of Anatomy of a Murder. They serve to deepen the viewer's understanding of the characters and the film's overall impact. The intersection of military honor and musical brilliance in this 1959 classic creates a tapestry that goes beyond the courtroom, resonating with audiences and solidifying its place in cinematic history. 
premiering in the UK at the Columbia Theatre, Shaftesbury Avenue, London. Anatomy of a Murder faced an unexpected turn. Initially showcased in its full 161-minute length, director Otto Preminger later had to trim it by 20 minutes due to Columbia's decision. The shortened version, against Preminger's wishes, found its way to general release, triggering the director's fury, especially when an unauthorized intermission was inserted by rank. This controversy added a layer to the film's reception, emphasizing the clash between artistic vision and studio demands. The conflict over the cut version's distribution, including the unauthorized intermission, reveals the intricacies of the film industry's power dynamics and the challenges faced by directors like Preminger when navigating studio expectations. The tension between creative control and commercial interests, as seen in the UK release debacle, becomes a compelling aspect of Anatomy of a Murder's behind-the-scenes narrative. Notably, the real-world connection to the murder case that inspired the film extends beyond the script. The interior of Barney Quill's bar, a pivotal setting in the movie, is the constructed movie set. Instead, it's the authentic interior of the Thunder Bay and Tavern in Big Bay, MI, located just 325 yards from the Lumberjack Tavern, where the actual 1952 murder took place. This choice to film in a genuine location linked to the historical event adds a layer of authenticity to the movie, blurring the lines between fiction and reality. The decision to use the authentic setting subtly contributes to the film's atmosphere and underscores its commitment to portraying the true events that inspired the narrative. In the aftermath of its release, Anatomy of a Murder faced controversy in Chicago, IL, where it was initially banned. However, a federal judge overturned the ban, allowing the film to reach audiences despite initial resistance. This legal battle over the movie's screening highlights the societal attitudes and challenges faced by provocative films in different regions. Anatomy of a Murder's resilience in the face of censorship underscores its impact and the debates it sparked around issues of morality and artistic freedom. In conclusion, Anatomy of a Murder's journey from the UK premiere controversy to its real-world filming locations and legal battles in Chicago provides a nuanced understanding of the film's reception and impact. The clash between artistic integrity and commercial pressures, the choice of authentic locations, and the legal challenges the movie faced all contribute to the rich tapestry of Anatomy of a Murder's legacy. As we bid adieu to the riveting journey through the intricacies of justice and morality in the timeless film Anatomy of a Murder, I encourage you, dear reader, to take a moment to reflect. Allow the echoes of this cinematic masterpiece to linger in your thoughts, akin to a melody that refuses to fade. In the tapestry of this legal drama, woven with suspense and moral ambiguity, each viewer discovers a unique connection. Perhaps it's the lingering shadows of the courtroom, the palpable tension of ethical dilemmas, or the profound performances etched in the celluloid. What resonated with you? Was it the relentless pursuit of truth, the captivating interplay of characters, or the suspense that held you in its grip? Your journey with Anatomy of a Murder doesn't end with the credits. It extends into the corridors of your own reflections. Share with us your cherished moments, your contemplations inspired by this cinematic gem. Let your thoughts flow like a meandering river, weaving through the nuances of this unforgettable narrative. As we celebrate the tapestry of human experiences, let us also celebrate the shared experience of cinema that transcends time and generations. Your thoughts and memories are the threads that enrich this collective narrative, making it a living, breathing entity. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic exploration with us. Your time and reflections are invaluable, adding depth to the legacy of Anatomy of a Murder. Until we meet again in the realms of storytelling, may your reflections be as vivid as the frames of this enduring classic.